Well, today's debate has been a very heated one, but in the end, we think it all boils down to two important major themes. The first is society, and the next is the university. So, in terms of society, side opposition claim that society is always reluctant, reluctant to give up their money, and so this tax is different. So this tax is no different than any other. We acknowledge that this tax is no different than any other, and essentially people are being deprived of their money. But when it comes to the terms of breaking the poverty cycle, something that side opposition is so extremely passionate about, we do not understand. We feel they, we do not understand how this can break the poverty cycle. They fail to enlighten us on how the tax would break the poverty cycle. This proves that their point of breaking the poverty cycle and this tax is extremely self-contradicting. So next, side opposition said that this tax would benefit majority of society. We see that this is false because if you look at the majority of the student body at a university, you will see students age from the ages of 18 to 20s, maybe even late, late 30s, but early and late 30s. We see that these ages are not the majority of society. Um, next, we talked about the universities. So we can all agree that a university will not benefit from this resolution because now they are being provided the money to run their institutions by the government. Therefore, they will be forced to adhere to the values of the government. And we see that this resolution deprives the universities of their uniqueness and independence. However, side proposition failed to provide us with any rebuttal on how this this point falls. They fail to provide us any rebuttal on why this case does not stand. Therefore, our case is stronger. Therefore, this resolution must stand. And it is for these reasons that post-secondary education should not be free.